we have our first pylon, jungle pylon right there. I guess I'll buy a lot more of these purification powders, just because why not? So we have another, basically another hundred right there. Basically another, can I put them over here? No, I can't do that. So we have basically 300 uh, purification powders. Should I get more of them? I don't know. Dirt rod magically moves dirt. I'm kind of interested by that. I guess I'll buy that. There you go. We'll test it out here just a bit. Uh, rope, I'm not going to use that, so let's get rid of that at least right now. Pumpkin seed, acorn. Oh, she actually, yeah, she sells acorns. Sunflower. Yeah, sunflower, that's the thing that gives us happiness, which is good. So that's cool that she sells them, but we found them out in the open, so that's good. That uh, we're not actually buy them, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to buy anything else from her, honestly. But that kind of sucks that my inventory got kind of hecked up uh, from... I don't know what, but let's kill the second flying... Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, I had platforms as my uh, current thing right there. Whoops. What in the world? I thought I had my sword. There you go, nice. Yeah, I don't know what to do about- Oh yeah, look at that. She's got like a huge kill aura around her. Like it goes out to here. Golly! She is really powerful, you guys. Crazy. Anyways, uh... I don't know what to do about this tree situation we have right here. I'd hate to cut it down. Oh, hold on. Can I, uh... Can I cut down a tree to length? Like, to specifically just there? I oh yeah, I can. Okay. So, let's place down the platforms there. There you go. And I wonder if... The tree will continue to grow or whatever, and it'll grow through that. I don't know. I doubt it, though. But anyways, now that we have our... Uh, so I should probably do some reading about the pylons and stuff. If I place this here... Oh, whoa, that looks weird. It said it can only be placed in the biome, right? Yeah, you can only place one per type and in the matching biome. So I can only place this here in the jungle biome. So if I want to come back here, boom. Oh, God, whoa. So how's that work? Oh, okay, it takes me to this screen... There are not enough villagers near that pylon to access it. Yeah, see, I need if I want to teleport here, and if I have a forest pylon, like, say, or like a desert pylon there, a forest pylon here, I need to have another NPC over here, and I don't know who. I need to go home and see who would be okay with living, like, more secluded, and doesn't really care about the biome, I guess? I don't know, I guess... I probably could have. Oh, whoops. I did not. I should probably close this off so I don't go there accidentally. Sheesh. Uh, do I have anything to do that with? Rich mahogany. What? Uh, I guess I could do this. Stone block. I just cut it off like this. Yeah, there you go. Do that. Then, uh. Yeah, okay. At least that'll just prevent me from going in there, so that would be good. But, uh, yeah, I need to go home and see, like, what NPCs are fine with potentially moving over here to a second story house. Oh, and by the way, I, I, I like, modified the terrain a little bit here and there. Uh, just kind of get rid of, like, random sinkholes and stuff like that. Uh, just because I had a lot of extra sand, so that's why that's kind of smooth there. That's why this is smooth now. You guys remember there was, like, a big wall right here beforehand, but I got rid of that there. I guess this is, uh, grass walls that, uh, the dryad is able to sell. Interesting. Anyways, I guess I could just get rid of all the vines there. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? I could just, uh, magic mirror back home, can't I? Oh, I guess I'll go over to the sand. Let's go over to the sand biome. And let's see. Hold on. If someone's going to give me a sand, or like a desert sand biome, yeah, like, if someone's going to give me a desert, whatever you call it, it'd probably be someone that's more desert, like something that has to do with her name, like desert-wise, right? Because the dryad, like, sells flowers, and she likes the jungle, so obviously she'd give me a jungle totem, or whatever it's called, right? Hmm. I doubt anyone, I'm all out of titanium white, don't even ask. That's like a heckin' Bob Ross color. Yeah, see, he's fine with that, but who would be, like... Deserty for the desert biome. I don't know. He's not selling anything new there. I doubt the. Oh, maybe. Would you? Say... Oh, yeah. I was about to say, yeah. So we got the desert pylon now. So that's good. Eight gold, I'll buy it. I was about to say, because didn't Bodashart say this reminds me of his home? Yeah, it reminds me of my hometown. Yeah. So that makes sense that he gave us the desert uh, pylon there. So that's good. So if we want to teleport here, can I just place it? I might be. Yeah, let's place it inside here. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll place it inside of a Bodashart. Or is that his name? Bodash Tart. A little bit of a... There's a T in the middle there, so... If I wanted to teleport specifically here... So, if I go over to the jungle biome... And try and teleport... To the desert biome... I should be able to, because remember, Marco the Painter's there... As well as Bodash Tart, the Die Trader. And there's two... Villagers there. Or, NPCs, whatever you want to get. Does he call them villagers? I don't know, I, I didn't pay attention right there, whoops. <laughs> But, oh, yeah, it's nighttime because there's zombies here. But I'm not able to teleport to the jungle from the desert because the jungle needs to have another NPC. And I, I really need to see, like, if any of the... Oh, yeah, look at how easy it is to go up that now that's, like, sloped. I had to do that with a hammer, by the way. But I need to see if any NPCs back in the forest biome potentially are going to give me a four. Or maybe Kyle would do that. I, I wonder. 
Anyway, 400 zombie right there. Golly. Oh yeah, look at that. 401 zombies now on the on the top right. Nice. But uh, about right. Oh yeah, that's where we just walled it off. And right here basically is where the jungle or uh, Celestia or whatever her name was. I forgot what it was. Something like that though. But if we go over to this pylon, interact with it, and try and teleport to the desert pylon. On a villagers near the current pylon. Oh, I need to ah! Oh, so it's the other way around. So if I want to use a pylon, I need to that that one needs to have. So if I so I could actually go to the desert and use that pylon. Oh yeah, look at that. that okay, I'm glad that I blocked it off right there because I was about to say like, what in the world? Why can't I go there? But then I realized, yeah, it just is just a dead end there. But the desert pylon is the one that I could use to teleport to the jungle, which is actually good. I could save a little bit of a trip. Basically, this trip right here I'm taking right now. I could basically save this amount of time by being in the desert and just teleporting to the jungle. So that's good. So I'm, I'm basically next, like, as far away from the dryad as I am from the desert. Which is actually good, because the desert's pretty close by, you guys. Oh, and a falling star right there, randomly. I'm, I'm not even able to pick it up, golly. Guess I'll pick it up, just to make more of those, like, worms or whatever, so there you go. But yeah, I, I guess that's good. Well, basically, if we want to go talk to the dryad, buy more of those purification powders, all we have to do, basically, is just come to the desert, go over to here and use their, uh, yeah, because this is their old house. Use their old, uh, use their totem or whatever, pylon. Do that. And because there's two NPCs there, I guess this pylon's powerful enough to teleport over here. Oh, the, okay, never mind. <laughs> there has to be two NPCs near each pylon. Not just the starting pylon, not just the end pylon, but from both pylons. Man. Well, that sucks. All right, well, at least we know that we can teleport to this one if we can get the forest pylon. But we can't go to the jungle pylon just yet because we need to have someone else move over there. And I don't know who quite yet. But uh, we, we basically have a forest pylon in the case of a uh, boom. There you go, haters. <laughs> So that's cool, but uh, Maria, would she have the four? I don't know. No. Oh, she has new stuff. Bunny ears and bunny tail. Interesting. Cat license. Do you guys want to buy that as like a sort of meme? We have uh, 45 gold. We could have a pet cat here. So if I buy this, is, is it going to be immediate or what? I don't know. I guess we'll buy it. Let me, let me up down my inventory a little bit real quick, though. Get rid of some of the... Oh, yeah. Let's do quick stack to nearby chest. That's it. Oh my gosh, that's like half of our, eh, like a third of our inventory right there that just got stacked up. Nice. So we have some wood walls here, some flower walls, rich mahogany, put that up as well. And some extra structures here I can put up. There you go. Oh, whoops. I want to keep at least one workbench in my... How do I do that again? Okay, there you go. Nice. And then uh, bamboo. Let's put that down here too for the blocks. So that's good. Squirrel, let's put that up in the animals again. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, I want to use the dirt rod. I wanted to test that out. Yep. But uh, let, let, let's try and organize this stuff over here again to what it was beforehand. So I don't know I can freak out about it, right, Golly? And I think that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Inventory-wise, at least. So let's go test out this dirt thing. I guess if we do it over here. Or you know what? Let's go underground over here. This will probably make more sense. Oh yeah, I can catch a bunch of worms right now because it's raining, but I, I don't really care too much about that. At least right now. We are oh yeah, here we go. This is a good spot. So if I wanted to do this dirt wand thing, how's this work? Uh oh. Okay, so I can pick up dirt and then just move it around like this. Interesting. Okay, I thought it moved like bigger chunks, but I guess not. And I'm not, I'm not able to pick up like dirt blocks that are just kind of like pick up a bowl like that. <laughs> okay, so this dirt one is interesting and all. But I have to have like a specific location for the dirt. Oh god, I could even, I could even throw the dirt to get rid of stuff like <laughs> Interesting. But it was like four gold to buy that, though. That, I, I, honestly, I kind of feel like I wasted my money there. I'd hate to say it, but yeah, I kind of feel it, you guys. Golly. Man. Mo if we didn't buy that, how much would we have? I didn't say, oh, God. I want to put, yeah, I think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think I did the quick stack to nearby chest thing, I think it put all my money in the piggy bank, didn't it? Yeah, I think it did. So we have 46 gold. Either that or I spent all my actual money and started eating out of the, uh, the piggy bank money. But we have 46 gold, 10 silver, 79 uh, copper right there. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, we have a piggy bank there, too. So there you go. Not too bad. But we were, like, at 80-something, like, two or three episodes ago. So I kind of I feel sour about that, unfortunately. But kind of want to talk to each NPC over here in the forest area. Or I guess maybe we could buy a cave, uh, whatever. May oh, let me go talk to Oten. I wonder if he's going to give me a cave pylon. Because he's, like, a cave guy, and we're underground now. Shop. No. Let's see what Simon has to say. 
Oh, he's not in his biome, right? Oh, yeah, what quest do we have now? Bloody Manowar? What in the world is that? Oh, yeah, I can't, he doesn't even have a trade thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, and this is all the same stuff, too. Yeah, whoops. Man! That'd be cool if we can get a cave. Oh, I guess if I do get a cave... Well, if anyone was going to give me a cave, it'd probably be him. But, nah. You guys are probably already going to tell me in the comments, like, who gives what... Like, what NPCs give what, uh... Uh, what do you call them? Totem. I keep wanting to call them totems. Yeah, nothing new there. Pylons, that's it. Well, let's go over here, let's talk to Barney. I doubt... Yeah, he still has a drum set, though. I guess I can still talk to Kyle, but he he doesn't he doesn't sell stuff though. And it's actually yeah, this is actually kind of uh, interesting. Our house is getting really empty now. Empty room there, empty, empty, empty. Man, at least now I know that we have room for more NPCs. And even over here, uh, at uh, the Dryad's old house, that's a, that's that's room for a new NPC. Oh yeah, I guess I can see. Uh, there you go. Who could I potentially move over? I love animals, so naturally the forest is, like, the best. Okay, well, don't want to move her, because she loves the forest. Lauren. Everything's working correctly. Oh, me, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just move... Maybe I'll move Lauren over there. Or maybe I'll move Maria. She might be fine with the jungle. There's a lot of uh, creatures over there, right? What if we built... Uh, what if we got some cactus over here? Built a second story to the house. Is that going to be good for Lauren? Or, uh, Maria? Maybe. Uh, oh yeah, we don't need a cactus if we go. If it's going to be a second story, yeah, we're fine with that. I guess I could go over there. Unfortunately, I can't teleport over there, so that sucks. Man, did that star go away? I think it did. Yeah, I think it's like turning the daytime right now, so that sucks. Man, but I guess if we could move her over there. That way, we could kind of teleport between two biomes and stuff, and it'd be easy. But I, hopefully, she's fine with it, right? So let me just pause real quick. Head on over to the dryad. I keep forgetting her actual name. What was it? Callista the Dryad. Let me head on over to Callista's house over in the heck of swamp slash jungle. And uh, hopefully she's going to be fine with that. I'm like, yeah, jungles. You, if you think about a jungle, you think about a bunch of creatures like monkeys and stuff all over the place, right? <laughs> so hopefully she's going to be fine with that. Uh, I assume she's fine with either the jungle or the forest. So either one of them is probably good. But like I said, let me just pause and I'll see you guys here in just a bit once I get over to Callista's house. Alright, guys, back. I just entered the jungle, so yep, here we are. Alright, perfect. Let's build the second layer now, so that would be up to... Oh, there's a frog on the side of this house. Interesting. And then, uh, yeah, we need to buy more of those uh, flower backgrounds there, too. We'll do that here in just a bit. There you go. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. We have enough cactus left over to potentially make the cactus... I don't know why I didn't make it before, and I wanted to make it, but whatever. There you go, the cactus workbench, and a chair, so there you go. We can have that, and let's buy some backgrounds for her. So, shop. Oh, we can still buy another jungle pylon for some reason. I thought we could only buy one of those, that's kind of weird. I could sell the dirt rod for one gold, 17 silver. I'm kind of thinking about it, though, you know? I I'm not really too crazy about the dirt rod. And if we got a gold bag, I'm like, we've spent four, right? Yeah, four gold, 25 silver on it. Like, I'm not too crazy about it. Like I said, a flower wall. I guess I'll buy a few of them. I'm gonna have, like, I don't know, like, 50 is probably going to be fine for that. So, there we go. Perfect. I'll think about it here in just a moment. If I want to get rid of the dirt rod. There you go. Now we can go up to the second floor. Perfect. So, let's place down. There you go. With that, and I'll place the chair on this side. There you go. Now, let's place the background, the flower background, the flower walls. Oh, my God. I'm one flower wall short. What? Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> Jeez, I don't even know where that wall was. Where's that? Oh gosh, she's attacking the flying fish. Look at that aura. That is crazy range on that. She killed the flying fish all the way. Look at that range. Oh my god. I don't know if it actually went out to there. That like fills up the whole screen there, you guys. It's crazy. Oh, there you go. So if I want to move... Oh, yeah, torches also. If I want to move whatever her name was. Maria. Let's see if we can do that. Where is she on here? Maria the Zoologist. There you go. So, uh, uh, can I make a bed? How do you make a bed again? Oh, yeah, I need, like, the, the, the wool thing, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. I don't know if I want to, ah, uh, yeah, it's going to take her a while. Oh, well, she's assigned over here, but the NPC isn't actually physically over here. Can I teleport now? Oh, I can. Oh, awesome stuff. So there's not even two NPCs even over. Oh, whoops. That, that, that was completely accidental. I did not mean to use the magic mirror right there, you guys. Golly. Uh, but whatever her- oh, did she, did she teleport? Oh, she did teleport over there! Huh! So, let's see how far- look at this. We can teleport- we go- just walk here, boom, desert pylon, and then from there we basically 
teleport another whole screen. So we basically cut the travel time in half from our home base all the way over to the jungle by using the pylons. Interesting, you're not close enough to a pylon to teleport with a pylon network. Yeah, we need to find some. We need to find out who gives us the forest pylon and then put that over here in our house. And then from here, we'll be able to access our other NPC friends, you guys. But for right now, if we want to go over to the zoologist or I forgot her name again, Callisto, I think. Is that it? I'll find out here in just a bit, but if we want to go over to Maria the Zoologist or Callisto the Dryad, we basically just travel here, from here, to the desert, which, it takes a little while, but I'm like, it's the same, it's basically the same travel as I'd take to go to the Hecavator right there, right? So, here we are, and then go from here, I wonder if, the, oh, what, man, <laughs> I still have the magic, that happens way too often, oh my gosh, <clears throat> as I was saying, we just come over here to the desert, basically just past the Hecavator, come over to the desert pylon to access the pylon network, and then go over to the jungle pylon, and then boom! Hey! I wonder if any time passed during that. I don't know what time it was like five seconds ago, but it's 10.38 a.m. now, so that's cool. Anyways, let's see what Maria has to say about this area. I absolutely, uh, this place is like totally awesome. Well, she's it's, it's not perfect or whatever, like she described the forest. Dog tail, dog ears now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get that cat license. I don't know about this guide the critter companionships. I don't even know what that really... I was about to say, like, it, maybe it'll tell me, oh, scorpions, or don't kill scorpions, don't kill bunnies, or whatever. But it says, from hurting critters while in the inventory. I don't know what that actually... It might just be a meme book. I don't know about that, though, you guys. But, uh, yeah. We just travel over here to the swamp pretty easily there. Not bad. And then there's the heckin' pyramid over here, which is cool. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go back to the, uh, to the dungeon. Unfortunately, we don't have a, uh, oh, I wonder if we want to come across, like, an Eskimo guy. Like, an Eskimo NPC for the, uh, winter biome that we could have, like, a, a winter Arctic, like, pylon or whatever that'll take us over to here. And we can easily go underground and, and do the heckin' Brain of Cthulhu mission slash be a little bit closer to the, oh, God, look at that giant tree right there. Or maybe, like, a, I, I guess maybe Simon. It feels like on a beach, maybe he'd give me, like, a beach pylon. But yeah, it's still gonna always take us for heck and ever to get back to that green dungeon over there, you guys. That's crazy. But yeah, I guess I would just pause the recording real quick. Head literally like heckin' across the map. There you go. At least I traveled about a quarter of the way across the map right there with that magic mirror. But yeah, let me continue heading over to the right. And uh, I guess now that we have a, a little bit of an emptier inventory, I guess we could actually continue looting that, uh, that green dungeon over there, you guys. So like I said, go to pause the recording, head on over to the green dungeon, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm here at the dungeon again, so let's get our, I guess I'll get our demonic artery at least for right now. Let's head down. Now we already cleaned out a lot of the uh, loot, so we can just head down to like that one room. Oh, what in the world's that over there? Oh, it's a blink route. Yeah, we can forget about that. Yeah, we already cleaned out a lot of the, uh, the loot and some of the traps and stuff, so we don't have to be too careful this time. Oh yeah, and then there's that chest there. You know what that is? It's like a cactus key or something. And then there's another key right there. It's like a crazy, like it's like a platinum gold ruby key or something. I don't know what we need for that. I I, I need to find one of those. Oh, I put the. Key. I should probably. I, I should definitely keep the keys in my uh, piggy bank. Down. I'm thinking about it. I think about the keys in like the rare stuff chest or whatever that's called. Uh, but yeah, I should definitely keep it in my piggy bank. That way, if I ever come across a chest, I'll always have. You know, just in case I have the key, at least I'll be able to access it a little bit easier, right, from the piggy bank. Kind of like an ender chest, right? So. Just kill these angry bones. Thankfully, it hasn't flooded the whole heckin' area up with a bunch of angry bones just yet, which is good. But uh, it's probably going to once I actually come down to this area, so... Uh, oh, whoops. Fell on top of that. Fell on top of that right there. Didn't mean to, but whatever. And then from, like, right here, right? Is going to be the bottom. Where there's, like, a spinning spike ball. Or was. Like, there was one right here previously, but... Here's that room. There's a chair. I guess we we'll grab. Sure, why not? Green dungeon chair. Then uh, we have more necromancy signs here. There you go. And then a uh, dark whatever that was called right there. I forgot what he was, but he's dead now, which is good. We didn't really get to. Oh wait, hold on. Where's the creation of Kyle at? It despawned. It's gone. Well, there's another spinning ball right there, so definitely want to watch out for that, you guys. There are a lot of angry bones in here we need to watch out for. We are bonking them, which is good. But these ones are armored. That one behind us isn't armored, so he can die a little bit easier, which is good. But I don't know what happened to Creation of Kyle. It's gone. Oh, there's a dart trap there, too. We need to watch out. Oh, let's get this out. Oh, man, we're taking some damage now. What in the world? Oh, God. Man, there's, like, angry bones attacking us. There we go. Another health potion right there taken. That's good. Another one of these guys spawned in. And he's dead. That's good. Let's go up here. 
Oh, man. Wasn't there a gold chest up here? Man. Oh, my God. Another egg and angry bones right there. Oh, my God. They're all over the place. I'm going to get killed by that thing. Is Oh, yeah. There was a gold chest up here. Man. I knew it. And this guy's up here, too. Got him. Nice. And there's a heckin' skull right there, too. Oh, I'm going to take that. Wait. I thought that... Uh, I thought it despawned if I killed its mage, but I guess not. There you go. Yeah, I need, I need a gold key, and I... Oh, wait. No, I have a gold key, but it, I let... I guess it doesn't matter. I just unlocked it right there. Okay. Well, what is that? Heavy Mura Muramasa. Ooh. I guess if you just own a gold key, it'll take one. Oh, unless I actually... I wonder if any of those enemies we just killed, any of those angry bones we just killed, dropped in a gold key. Because remember, we got a, we got like three gold keys here last time. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But, uh, let's grab this. There you go. So I grab these books because I forgot what it was, but someone told me to, to grab the books. Uh, we have a decent amount of helm, like 30 or something like that. So there you go. We're actually getting a pretty good collection going on over here, you guys, which is great. Now, we're getting a little bit of regen going on right now. I guess I'll take this uh, lesser healing potion right there. There you go. Just because I don't want to take a full-on one just yet. And I wonder if I can go down there and break this trap. Uh, no, I cannot. Now, there is another room there. I want to zoom out. Yep, it... Oh, my gosh, it still goes down. Whoa, how do I get up to there, though? Because it looks like that's... I just break through this? I guess. If I, if that's the case, I guess I get a bomb. Oh god, I did not mean to throw it like right there. Oh, I can't. Oh god. That's a lot of enemies. Holy heck. There we go. So I can't break through the dungeon. Oh, hold on. Can I mine through it? I cannot. Yeah, it just kind of resets whenever I mine mine it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I might as well throw a bomb down there to get rid of these guys. So there you go. Hopefully they'll, uh, oh god, there's a guy over there, a caster, get the dark caster, bonk him. There we go, we got him. Oh yeah, I guess I can get these guys with the, uh, the yo-yo too, just because it has pretty good range. So there you go, we just bonk these guys, keep them up against the corner, we got him, nice. I don't know if that bomb down there actually killed anyone, but, uh, oh god. Yeah, as long as they're away from me like this, that's good. I can get them with the yo-yo, which is great. Or the gun or something like that, right? But there's a lot of them down. Oh wait, no, hold on, yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't have to break any doors or anything like that. I could, I could, I could just walk over there, so that's good. I want to get the gun out, though. Deadly the Undertaker. Maybe I'll use it. Oh, God, that thing's slow. Hold on. Is this thing semi-automatic? Oh, yeah, I think it is. Agile Mini Shark. That's not... That's just straight out automatic, though. So I can do this. Just get rid of a bunch of heckin' bullets. Going up against these armored heckin' uh, angry bones. So that's good. Look at all those bones out there. 100th angry bone killed. Another uh, dungeon slime. That's going to get us another gold key, I think, right? Or something. I know the go the dungeon slime is supposed to give us something. I know someone said the dungeon slime was like really uh good. Slash rare, slash whatever it was, I forget. Actually, oh yeah, it did give me a gold key. Nice, awesome. So if we come across another thing, we'll be able to open it. Another gold. Oh god, the dark I guess the dark caster just spawns near you then, huh? Because I guess that one that was on the left side teleported right there, so that's interesting. So uh let's continue placing torches too. Are we in a relatively safe spot right now? I, I kind of want to heal, so there you go. Got two heckin' angry bones right next to me. There you go. One of them armored, too. And there's a heckin' dark caster down there, too. Gotta make sure I don't get hit by him. Oh my god, Ryze, I see that. What if we could uh, place down a campfire and get, like, double regen? Because, uh, you know, getting campfire regen as well as my, uh, whatever you call it. Yeah, look at that. He teleported right there. Okay, so that's good. Is that a bathtub? It is a bathtub. There are chests here, too, with bombs in them. And more, uh, grandfather clocks. Dungeon clocks. Another, uh, water candle, yeah. Another dungeon clock right there, nice. Place some torches back here. Oh, there, I already accidentally placed one back. Oh, whoa, new symbols and stuff. Whoa. What's that sign? Ragged Brotherhood Sigil. What? Well, let's kill that cursed skull. Got him, nice. There's another chest right here, too. Six silver, 99 copper. Nice, got that. What's that up there, though? What's that? Something lamp. I don't know what that said. Oh, I, I ran out of inventory space again? I did, whoa. Uh, oh, I picked up a penguin, by the way, you guys. It's kind of crazy. Maybe I'll get the boomerang out. I'm like, it doesn't do that good to damage, but maybe it'll, it'll be able to keep these guys at bay, you know? Maybe I'll put that right there. There you go. And then, do I have, like, any, like, dirt blocks or something like that that I can place down? I don't know. I guess I'll just drop this for right now. Or just place it. I can't do anything. Hold on, we have an angry bones heading towards us, you guys. Doing damage to us. Sheesh. Let's get our uh, piggy bank. There you go. And, uh, access it. Let's put a bunch of stuff up inside there. So there you go. I don't care if we get rid of those. That's fine. And that stuff down there too. Now, this thing right here. Negative 11% speed, 15% knockback. Very weak knockback. 
21 melee damage compared to 23. Yeah, I guess it's not as good. But, uh, rope? I guess I don't have a lot of... I only have 29... I thought I had, like, hundreds of rope or something crazy, guys. But I guess not, huh? Anyways, uh, cactus, yeah, I can put that up. Mushroom, yeah. Golden key, I... I guess I'll keep that. Penguin, put that up. Uh, purification powder, I'll put that up at least right now. As well as up there, too. That's gonna be good. I think we're fine. Yeah. I think we're fine right now. Let's get our piggy bang back. There you go. So we'll pick that up. As well as, uh, back down there. Now, what is in this big room? I feel like, I feel like there, oh god, something went flying right there. Oh wait, no, that's a ball. A lot of angry bones down there. Dun another dungeon slime. More of these symbols here, you guys. I don't wanna, oh, there you go. What's this? Rusty Company Standard, I don't know what that means. Brotherhood Sigil, another, uh, there you go. Is this a trap? What is that? Oh, it was a switch. Ooh, glad that I got that. Nice. That was gonna activate some sort of trap, I'm sure. More books. Of course, platforms right here for me to... There you go. There's some sort of Skelefella right there. And of course, spikes below me. I guess I can place down some plat... Oh, I don't know why the pink bank's right there. There's my platforms. There you go. I guess I'll place some platforms here. There you go. Place them over here. You go into the middle, throw some bombs below me just to kill these guys. And I'll be able to get that skeleton uh, thing, hopefully. Catacomb. What? Is that a painting? I think it might be. Okay, that's good. Uh, bomb. You know what? I'll put that right there. I'll put the sticky bomb right there. That way I could easily use them. So, boom. Are you going to hit anyone? Uh, oh, man. There's a lot down there. Holy heck. You know, I'm going to keep throwing these. There's another gold. What looks like a gold chest down there. I guess it's, it's not going to get exploded by bombs. So, that's good. Nice, got those guys right there. These guys are pretty low. Uh, got them. And another one down. Nice. So we cleaned out a lot of enemies right there, you guys. Awesome. There's another uh, cursed skull and a mage guy above me. Man. You know what? Let's go down here. Let's get our uh, boomerang out, too. Just have a little bit of fun with some knockback, too. There you go. And you know what? Let's get our artery to take care of these cursed skulls. There, the guy teleported to me right there. Whoa, and taking some damage. Taking some damage from these angry bones. Oh, God. Whoa, there you go. Nice. Oh god, Angry Bone Cursed Skull. A lot of stuff around here killing me, you guys. I'm going to get a heal right there. Nice. Man, these guys can jump to me right there. Man, what in the world? There's so many of them. Man! And then we've got Cursed Skulls attacking me too. Golly! There's like a thousand angry... Why can't I use my yo-yo? There you go. Jeez. Man, there's like a thousand of them that just fell down there, you guys. Sheesh, I have to throw the bombs again. Now they're kind of... Want yeah, look at that. They're just marching down there. It's kind of crazy. Throw another one down there, nice. Clothier Voodoo Doll. I don't know what to do with that. We have a Clothier, yeah. I I, I don't know what I can do with that. I don't know if I want to know. You got, Oh god, whoops. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die, teleport home! Oh no, wait, what? Okay, I guess I didn't die, I guess I didn't teleport and die. <laughs> Man! I dropped one gold, 15 silver. Man, that sucks. I, I died right next to a gold chest. Ah, well that sucks. Anyways, I've been recording for like two or so hours, so I need to heck and stop you guys, and then we can go back there and get our stuff back. Actually, you know what? Uh, I don't know if I end the recording, or, you know, leave the world or whatever, and we lose our uh, items. I guess we'll go back there and try and get our stuff back, and maybe see what's inside of that gold chest real quick. Or, uh, oh, whoa, what in the world? Spike N Nazar? And then Clothier Vo- Wait, what? how did I get that? Thorns Potion. Attackers also take damage. Ooh, that's good. Eight minute I should do that. I should definitely take that in the dungeon. I should probably empty my inventory. You are a terrible- what? I don't know what to do with that, you guys. Uh, but I guess I'll- Oh, is it a blood moon right now? I think it is. It's like- oh wait, no, that was just a crimson biome right there. Okay. Not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah. I, I guess I'll empty out my inventory of some of this stuff, like the random loot. I'll put the heck in Clothier doll, the spiked Nazar. Nazar. Immunity to curse. So if I wear this, I can't get- that cursed skull guy to do anything to me, maybe? So what would I do? Maybe I'll get rid of the magic carpet or the shack. What does that shackle do again? Plus four defense. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to get rid of that. Armored white string. That's really good, too. Plus four percent damage for the menacing spell. I, I really don't want to get rid of that. Same thing with that. Flying carpet. Maybe I'll get rid of that temporarily because the rocket boots are kind of kind of like that. Maybe I'll wear the spiked Nazar, Nazar thing. I'll wear that. And then, I guess I'll put up some of the random stuff I've got over here, too. And then we have the Heavy Miramasa. I guess I'll... I have some money. I guess I'll see if I could uh, reforge that and maybe I'll be good. Reforge. How much? Three gold. Mm. Three gold, 12 silver. It's currently heavy, so the knockback's better, but the speed is terrible. 
I'll do it. Tiny, what? Negative 18% size. One gold, 96 silver. Unhappy, ah. Oh, nimble, so it was a little bit better speed. We're down to 39 gold though. This is taking a lot more, but 6% more speed. I guess I'll try it out. I guess I'll put it in this place of the Undertaker thing. Let's see, how is this thing? Oh, whoa. And I can just leave it down. I don't, I, 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 it'll just automatically keep going like a heckin' meat grinder. Like, you just have my mouse button down right now. And then now I have my mouse button down on this, and it's, it, it just goes once, so I have, to, I have to spam it. But this, Nibble Miramasa, which is actually what the Undertaker was, wasn't it? No, that's deadly. I think we might have had a Nimble, we had Nimble something. Maybe it was an Undertaker, and I just uh, reforged that thing or something like that. I don't know, but that's really, that's insanely good. Deadly? That's really, really good, you guys. Holy heck. But, yeah, let me just pause the recording real quick, head on over to the dungeon. Let's try and get our, like, one gold or whatever that was back. As well as, uh, I guess see if we can unlock that gold chest over there. Oh, a turtle! What?! Why are we just now getting a turtle spawning in over there? I've never seen a turtle in that specific lake, like, at all. Huh. Anyways, uh, something- Oh, yeah, I put it up in the, uh, the pig bank, didn't I? Whoops. But I was, uh, placing down some of those, like, purification powders and stuff like that, randomly. Uh, not here, but a little bit further into the, uh, to the crimson biome over here. I was placing some of those, so. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get a little bit- Ah, you know what, that's gonna take too much time. Hopefully we're gonna get a little bit of progress in terms of a- Oh my god. Oh, and another Thorns Potion. Yeah, definitely- Or Night Owl Potion, actually. Yeah, definitely want to take the Thorns Potion so we can actually, uh, deal damage back to our attackers, especially over there when we have an overwhelming amount of heckin' attackers, right? Golly. I'd say we have okay armor. We could definitely use some better armor over there. You know what, let's see how good this is, because this second weapon speed is crazy, you guys. Golly! This might actually be my new, uh, main weapon, you guys. How slow is this thing? Average speed, very fast speed, and even more with the- Actually, I think that might have been because of the 6% speed, but... Very weak knockback, 8% critical strike, but 22 damage. This one has 24 damage, but it has slower- Yeah, slower speed, 10% size, 10% knockback. Let me make that my main- There you go. And we have a lot of air. I actually have 900. I actually have, like, over a thousand arrows, so I think I'm going to put my gold boat- Maybe I'll put my gold bow back up to, like, here. There you go. So I could actually use that, right? Oh, we have fire arrows right now. Whoops. But, uh, yeah, in terms of actually hacking killing things, this second like Mira Masa or whatever it's called? Which is like a lightsaber-looking thing. It's actually kind of crazy, you guys. Holy heck. Like, the actual DPS, like, the actual damage, like, straight-up damage is lower than the... Whatever that other... The Butcher thing. But because this thing has such high weapon speed, and it's, like, fully automatic, I guess you could say, where I just hold down the attack button and it constantly goes like this, I'd say the DPS, the just overall, like, damage output of this thing is a lot better, and definitely warrants being our new main melee weapon. So, I guess, uh, I don't know, maybe here in the future, I'll reforge it again, because I guess it already has some really good, uh, weapon speed, so maybe we don't need the speed modifier for it. Maybe we'll try and get some other modifiers to make it even better, but yeah. Let me just keep heading on over to the dungeon, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit.